Troubled kid? I was one. Second chances? I got one. Dropped out of college, made a YouTube, and started roasting people. And now, I'm a judge. In my courtroom, the disputes are fake, and the cases ain't about nothing. And if you got feelings, I don't care. I'm Judge BX Beast Boy, and this is my show. <laughs> Let's go. I've been following the Upchurch and Tom McDonald beef that seems to be really more so Upchurch going at him, just going at him. He wants to smoke. I want to hear what happens if they do battle. I do think it could be a, a great battle. But Tom McDonald, he announced that he got a new song with uh, Ben Shapiro. It's supposed to come out like today by the time this video comes out. I, I don't know what that's going to sound like. Ben Shapiro spitting bars. That, that's going to be insane. I don't know if it's all a misdirection. And they really do have a song coming out. I'm not, I'm not going to give up on that. I'm not going to give up on it. Not just because I'm a fan of Upchurch as well as Tom McDonald, but because I, I think it would be genius to really get people like questioning it, looking for it. And then they just hit them with a song. Wow. And they going at it, maybe back and forth on a record. Bam. I'm telling you, maybe the Ben Shapiro thing could be just a, misdirection maybe ben shapiro's on the song as well everything i'm saying is just like some conspiracy jane i don't know if it's true or not but we're gonna find out today we're gonna find out today man but you guys who have been following this story as well have sent me a clip that i did not see and it's on upchurch i don't know if he's speaking directly on tom mcdonald but people that spoke about him behind the scenes or something of that nature let's take a look at it don't forget to hit the like button share the video Drop some comments. Tell me what your theory is. Do you think that Tom McDonald's better? Do you think that Upchurch is better? Do you like both? And just want to see them go back and forth in the spirit of hip hop? Let me know in the comment section, man. Hit the like button. Let's take a look at this clip. If they don't say sorry. I hope they actually text me and say, you up, church. I'm ready to show everybody what I can really do. You ain't seen sh You ain't seen sh I know who don't like me. I know who's been nice to my face. And not likes me behind my mother back. You gonna be you gonna be forced to rap against me, mother. Mm. And none of y'all can beat me. Keep treating me like I'll take on all y'all the same. Okay. Um. Now I don't know if that was directly at Tom McDonald, right? Um. But let's speak on the the sentiment of having people that you think that you're cool with, and they really don't rock with you behind the scenes. That happens all the time. Right. You ever see me cool with certain YouTubers and I'm around and then you see that I'm not around or I don't keep them around. That's usually the case. <laughs> it's usually the case. A lot of people in the entertainment world or the media game, they realize, I guess, or they have this thought that it's beneficial to be fake buddy, buddy and friends because that way you get more fans and you could, gen that's a loud train. I hope that y'all hear that. And that you can, I'm not editing that, that out either. Um, and you could just, uh, you know, ride waves and act all fake buddy, buddy with people and try to, you know, get your money up and cloud up and it's more beneficial, right? I don't follow that. Like I, I go by the, if I think that you're cool and I like you and I'll be around you. If I think that you're nasty and I just don't want to associate with you for any reason, then I won't be around you. It's as simple as that. It's, it's as simple as that. I'm not fake. Right. Um, a lot of people within the industry are. So the, we just talk about that. Cause think about it. There's people that, Oh, best of friends with BX Beast Boy, man. Best of we doing all these collaborations. I contact them behind the scenes to see how they're doing. Hey, how are you, man? You all right? But never heard a reply. Oh, you just use the image of us being cool to the public is good for business. Got it. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm not fake. And honestly, I ain't even going to take it personal, but I just know what it is. So if you see me not associating or keeping my distance, it's because I know what it is. I know what it is. And it's not no beef, no drama. I just don't want to pretend that it's something like we're cool and best of all. You know? No, nah, I don't do the fake image, right? If your fans don't like me because I'm not around, that's cool because I'm focused on my fans and whoever wants to watch my content, right? So I get what he's saying right now. Let's talk about more so with him and Tom McDonald. I don't know if that's true. If he's speaking on Tom McDonald at all, I don't know if Tom McDonald would even do something like that. Of course, I don't 
know him personally, but with Nassim Ahad, who would he be talking to? <laughs> Is this now where we get the, hey, mind you, maybe I could make a separate video, which I think I'm going to do. Look on my channel. We, we could probably make a separate video for this. I've seen a lot of people throw the Adam Calhoun name out there as in like, is this because of him? I don't know. That sounds crazy. Like, I, I just don't see it. Like, in my personal opinion, what this looks like is marketing, no matter how you look at it. Even if Tommy Donald is not a part of it. Like, the only way I see this is marketing, right? When people try to call me out and they're doing it for sport and not being nasty, not being disgusting, but they're doing it for sport, I see it as, oh, they're just trying to do some marketing. That's all it is. <laughs> they just trying to, yeah, now you can choose to ignore it and be like, nah. Like a lot of people are saying in the comment section as well. They're like, yo, listen, you want a response? Go look up Tom McDonald. No response. I was like, Damn it. I got reactions to it. You ain't got to tell me. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, it's actually because I can reference it in my videos. Shout out to you guys in the comment section. Love reading you guys' comments. I got a lot of insightful stuff. Um, but if you want to do something like that, where you just pay no mind, which is what I do majority of the time, bro. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like being petty. I might be petty in a live stream today. I'm thinking about it. Sometimes I feel like being petty. Um, but you can choose to not respond and not engage and help somebody with marketing. It's just, it's part of the game at this point, right? I've learned to have more of an abundance mindset to where I don't have a scarcity mindset to where everything has to be hoarded and it's all mine. It's enough out here for all of us to win. But the sport element, I would love to see it. I am a up church fan. He's dope. All right? Dope with the rapping, dope with the singing. He's talented as hell. So is Tom McDonald. I'm a fan, a huge fan of both, right? I like everything Tom McDonald stands for, his music. It speaks to me, literally. Right? That's why I even was informed on him. My fans were telling me, yo, there's somebody out here. That's rapping all the stuff you be saying in your live streams. I'm like, yeah, right. No way. And then I heard a few songs. I was like, oh, yeah. He the chosen one. <laughs> he the chosen one. I was like, yes. Yes. F the system. Um, but yeah, I'm a huge fan of both of them. I think they're both dope artists. And I would love to see the battle. I would love to see the battle. If it happens, I still have hopes that they're going to do a song together. I'd like to see them battle and do a song together. And if we can get both at the same time on some old school kid and play, they going back and forth. Can't get mad at that. But that's just my personal opinion, man. Tell me what your opinion is down in the comment section and hit the like button as well. You just watched a podcast clip. Oh, yeah, I got a podcast. Real Talk with BXB. Real Talk with BXB's boy. You can. <laughs> I did that on purpose. Check that out. The link should be in the description. It's a, it's a good experience. But trust me. Why you? Don't be judging me.